So let's start from here. You're going to cut all the way across, meeting the other lines that you made before. I'm going downhill. Right <laughs> we'll even it out again. I'm going uphill. You're going downhill. It's good. It ain't happening. I know. <laughs> We can just whatever. We can, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. We can just step over to step two. Look, it's already done. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Also, at the last step, you're gonna ball out your water. Fine. Mm. You know we got that. So. Then you spend the rest of your morning removing I the watermelon. I promise this is easier. With a with a I watermelon okay. baller. So now, remember, like we did the shark swim last year. Remember his teeth, his really fierce yep. teeth. So we're gonna essentially do the same thing that we did last time. So we are <clears> going to cut here. You're gonna cut little triangles into the bottom. And just go crazy, you know? It's not something that's neat. It doesn't have to be neat. It's a, it's a porcupine, it's a hedgehog. We still haven't figured that out yet. It's, you know, we're, we're essentially starting out with the quills on the outsides. And you wanna go all the way around. Okay. And then you wanna get, uh, we can stop, we, we have a finished one over here, but okay. I do wanna show you how to do the top ones. Okay. Same way, just go. Like this? Go. Yeah, you're just great. So you're just making little triangles. Yeah. Little triangles. And then from the piece that we took off the top, yeah. I cut off a little triangle, and we're going to use that for the nose later. OK. So again, more things we're reserving, which I already have okay. cut for us, down at the next station. So let's Excellent head over here. News. <laughs> so now okay, <clears throat> we've got all of our clothes finished for the outside. That's pretty much the base. You can see our basket. Okay. I took our little stars, and I cut them so that the back feet would have two little digits and the front would have oh. three. So I, I take two It's a cute prints. little yes. rodent, whatever it is. <laughs> I, already placed, I already placed the feet in the back. You're just gonna kind of stick this up in the front and you're gonna stick it right wherever you think his, his front legs would go. Front little feet. Cute little creature we're building. He is a cute right? little creature. I think he's adorable. I mean, as rodents go. Yeah. <laughs> I, they are both rodents. I think we figured that out in our research of what is this creature we're making. Okay. So then when you're done with that, we're going to take more toothpicks and we're just going to build him little eyes. Build him little eyes. Yeah. Where, little where are toothpick. you putting your rodent eyes? Wherever you want. I mean, <clears throat> give him beady little eyes. You'll see, you'll, you'll like what we use for his eyes. Make him look very creaturey. Give him a little nose while you're there. He sort of got a nose yeah. where, where the, the vine thing was or yeah. whatever. And then we are sticking our nose piece in that we cut off before. Oops. Uh, did it break? <laughs> Mine just broke too. My toothpick. I just broke his little rogue nose. My toothpick just broke too. <laughs> it is a watermelon we're sticking this stuff into. So, okay, stick him in a little nose. Do I use these things? Uh, we're going to use him as a little, as a little creature nose first. Oh. The piece that we cut off over there. Okay, it looks more like a beak. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> And then I break my toothpick in half, and then I just stick in a little beady nose. <laughs> Mine looks like a rodent booger. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to give him, um, what I use for eyes, I use blueberries. So I peeled it, and we gave him little, like. You peeled a <laughs> I know. blueberry? I know, I did. I did. I peeled a blueberry. But we are giving you way too much time on your hands. <laughs> I've, had, I've had a whole year to come up with my new, my new creature. So I peeled little blueberries for his beady little eyes. I know. <laughs> I so need to take those watermelon ice cubes and make me a little cocktail to go. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna like this part. This okay. part's fun. Okay. You're gonna, do, we're, we're digging into our watermelon and we're, we're filling them up. All right. So go ahead. We're gonna get a little messier, I'm sorry. All right. Get them in there. I think I got the guts of a couple of watermelon rodents here. I don't think it'll all fit. It's all right, it's all right. No one ever said no to extra watermelon, right? Right. Too true. Fill them up as best as you can. And then. Whoa. Stay in there. <laughs> what's what's <clears throat> the part of a porcupine or a hedgehog that's the most distinguishable is probably his quills, The right? quills, yes. So we are going to go back to our toothpicks, 
and we are just gonna stick it in the whole top level of watermelon. Wow! And then that is how we are gonna make him. That's look. how we're gonna make him come look, to life. Come to life. <laughs> Our little porcupine hedgehog. Little creature. And how cute is this for like the centerpiece of a uh, your Fourth of July picnic? Right. A barbecue. Or a barbecue. It's fun for kids to eat. It's getting your kids to eat more fruit. <clears throat> it's actually um, a good task for the kids to yeah. stick there and stick, their stick little... 200 toothpicks in there. <laughs> Just so long as they don't poke each other's yeah. eyes out, of course. <laughs> 